this is my last slide here. So what determines teen sexual behaviors? One, their values. What they believe is true. What, what they believe is the best behavior, right? What do, they, what, what do they understand about the right time to be sexually intimate, right? Number two, personal efficacy. What does that mean again? I explained that. What is personal efficacy? Um, belief I can do it. Yeah. yeah. Their confidence that I can, I can, I can do that, and doing that will benefit my life, right? Okay. Future. What is future orientation? Goals. Future orientation. My future goals are clear to me, and by abstaining now. I will benefit my future, right? Some compelling future that they want to work towards. Right. Opportunity, what's opportunity? Another chance. Another chance. Did, 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 say that louder. Another chance. Well, I mean, like, oh. opportunity is like, a chance to educate. Yeah, the opportunity to have sex, meaning no adult supervision, no curfews, whether there are rules of behavior in your household or not. You know, whether you're supervised, basically, right? Uh, peers, independence from peer pressure. Peers means what kind of friends I choose. Independence means what is my attitude about what my friends say, right? Rationalizing, what is rationalizing? Rationalizing means if I'm in love, it's okay to, to do what? Have sex. Yeah, mm -hmm. they think well, sex is not is bad, or I'm going to abstain. But if I fall in love, then it's okay, right? So we mm -hmm. have to deal with that. And in part two of the the presentation that I hope we can cover today, we really deal directly with, with that idea. Okay. Or my boyfriend's took me out to this fancy restaurant. Uh, he bought me a ten dollar bouquet of roses, and he took me out to McDonald's. That, that means I have to give it out to him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or we've been dating for three months and my boyfriend expects it. These are rationalizing, right? Mm -hmm. So we, we really have to challenge those, those ideas. Intent and commitment means what do they intend to do? What's their commitment? So in our program, we just, we try to get them to think, you no, know, stage one is absence of good idea, but that's not good enough. We don't want them to think, oh, that's a great idea. They want, uh, we want them to think, this is a good idea for me. This is what I want to do. Mm -hmm. okay. And that's from Dr. Wee from the Institute for Research and Evaluation. He's our, our evaluator. We, we've been working with him for several years. Okay. 60 years ago, you went to a movie and you <laughs> saw your favorite movie stars doing what? Movies. <laughs> They were both puffing away, and they were cool and sexy, and you wanted to be cool and sexy, so what did you do? Puffing. You, know, you, you bought them all, made them look cool, whatever. Okay. Okay. But in the 1990s, in the year 2007, is smoking sexy anymore? No. No, it's a disgusting, filthy habit that will give you lung cancer and emphysema, right? Right. Yeah. You put it that way. Yeah. Yeah. So we have been able to redefine <laughs> smoking from something that was cool and sexy to something that is disgusting oh, and dangerous. Right? Right? It's like night of the living dead, man. Yeah. Yeah, this is all the tar that you're taking into your lungs, right? That's the idea of the right? So so again, we've been able to actually reduce smoking behavior. Now if you go to another country, if you go to Asia, China, Japan, Korea, yeah. many European countries. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, everyone is smoking away. Like, like, you know, like I mean, so isn't that true? Cool. Yeah. In Europe, in Europe. Yeah. well, not so yeah. much anymore. Oh, so it's yeah. changing no, Europe too. Like yeah. Like yeah. Uh, so. so it's been changed. But you go to Japan. Oh yeah, Japan, Korea. I mean, China, everyone is smoking there, right? Yeah. So true. yeah. So you know, we've been able to change people's ideas and behaviors through giving a very clear, consistent message. And that's what we're trying to do with, with, with our absence education. Same thing. Same thing with it. Okay, so that's it. So, yeah. That's great. So anyway, there's a lot of material here, but was it interesting? Yeah, yeah. very much. So. It gives you a little bit of background. I mean, the main point I want to, you to understand is what we're doing 
Not it's not just like a nice idea. Uh, there's actually research behind everything that we teach. I, I really want you to be confident about that. And if, if there's anything that you wonder about, please feel free to, to ask me because there is a reason why we do what we do, what we teach, and what we don't teach. Okay? I have, I have a comment.